Welcome to my channel, Sunshine Shoulders. I'm Calvin. Thank y'all so much for stopping by again today. Why I still say the Philippines is one of the best retirement destinations for Western men. You know, there's a lot of talk going on about the Philippines on the internet, almost to the point of people saying it's overload. But in my opinion, it's not because the information is coming from totally different sources. Welcome back. You know, I started at my house for a reason. I wanted people to see that I'm walking the walk. I'm a pensioner over here, what I consider a pensioner, because there's a lot of information on the Philippines on YouTube. Some people is going to say, oh, it's too much. I, I say it's not enough, and it's coming from different sources. Some of these vlogs are coming from vacationers, and then some are coming from pensioners like me, people who live here full time. You have to figure out which one are you and make sure you're following the right people. But the only thing that's almost going to guarantee if you get it right is if you come to these places. So that's why I want to talk about why you should still consider the Philippines as one of your top retirement destinations because you hear a lot of negative stuff. You just look on your YouTube feed, you'll see it. Don't retire in the Philippines. Don't come here. You're dating this, dating that. Uh, it's useless and everything like that. One thing I want to warn you about is who you're getting your information from. Some people, they're just not here long enough to be these experts that they're, you know, putting themselves out there to be, number one. Number two is they haven't accomplished anything. So me, being a pensioner, somebody's been here long term, I'm not going to listen to those guys. I'm not even really going to take them serious, but they have an audience because there's a lot of vacationists like that. They got a lot of people who come here, they jump around from place to place. They're only here for a certain amount of time. And some of their information is valid, but most of it's not. Not for me, because I'm in it for the long term. You know, if somebody tells me, oh, the dating is dead here, I'm not going to buy that. Because I've been here on and off for over 15 years, six years, and I've never had a problem with dating. As a matter of fact, dating has gotten better here. Because, believe it or not, more and more people have found out, you know, that, you know, dating foreigners is not that bad. Okay, but in this little short video, in 10 minutes, I'm going to show you, or tell you rather, why the Philippines should still be in your top list of retirement destinations. Because you should have a list. You should have a list. Certainly don't just go by what people are saying. This is a mistake we make. Come over here, man. It's no big deal. You're talking about your retirement, okay? But as you can see, you know, look how peaceful and quiet it is. I feel safer here than anywhere I've ever been. I tell you that all the time. Because there's a genuine welcoming here when you come here. The hospitality... Filipinos are well known. I mean, that's old news. Okay, I'm not going to bore you with that. But that's always at the top of my list. Safety and whether or not I'm welcome. Okay. Dating. Let's face it, guys. The 18 to 80 is still in full effect. 18 to 80 blind group are crazy. There's going to be somebody over here who's going to love you. And there's nothing like going... To sleep at night with a warm body next to you especially when you're so used to being by yourself just knowing that there's somebody that's got your back over here all right and then you know all the other stuff that comes along with that you know dating's not dead over here guys by a long shot i see vacationers telling you that i see people with different expectations telling you that no two human beings are the same so my dating experience is not going to be the same as yours over here you just got to get over here and find out what it's going to be like for you 
don't let these mediocre guys tell you that dating's dead. It's not. If you're a decent human being, if you got some conversation, if you've got some persuasion, okay, you got good personal hygiene, you're going to have a woman. That's the least you have to worry about. But vacations will tell you they're only here for two or three weeks, two or three months. Oh, the women don't really like foreigners and stuff like that. There's enough women over here, man. The pie is big enough for everybody. Okay, because that's the number one reason a lot of guys are, you know, wanting to move over here, okay? Which I would caution against that. So much more. You know, we always talk a lot about budgets. Look, I don't, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on that. But as you can see by the building of my house, there are ways in which the Philippines is so much more affordable than where you come from. Okay. I'm just, I can't afford to, to build. I built two houses actually over here. My guest house, I could live in my guest house. And I don't want to sound like I'm bragging because I'm not. That, that's nothing compared to what some people have done. But I'm walking the talk, guys. I'm showing you it can be done. I'm not just on here lecturing you. Okay, if I'm going to talk about dating and all that, I got a woman. You see her. She's blossoming under me. Remember, you got to be the leader over here. You still got to be the leader, guys. You can't let the woman lead you over here. I'm sorry. You're headed for destruction. You're headed for self-destruction. I was talking to a guy last night, Xavier Allen. He said, Calvin, of all the things you say, he said, one thing I don't get is men come over here and let the woman lead. Yeah, this is her home country. But you're getting a whole different perspective. She can only going to show you just a tiny bit of what you really need to know. If I'm a man and I want to come live in the Philippines, I want my information from somebody who I can relate to, whose situation is going to be similar to mine. The woman's situation is not going to be anything similar to, to yours. It's going to be like night and day. She can be like a tour guide and everything like that. Basically introduce you to the culture and everything like that. But as far as how to move over here, she's going to be a very little help. But you still got to be the leader when you come over here. But let's get back to the budget. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it because it's nonsense. Okay. Don't let anybody tell you what you can't do. If, especially if they're not doing it. If they're not living on 1200 a month, don't let them tell you you can't do it. Okay. Because remember, ladies and gentlemen, look yourself in the mirror. Pat yourself on the back. You've accomplished so much in your life. The Philippines, even though it's not the easiest off the way, you really got to ramp it up. You got to take yourself to a whole other level to live comfortably over here. Okay, to acclimate here. It's really the kindergarten as far as overseas retirement compared to a lot of these other places. It's all laid out here for you. There's going to be some adjustments you're going to have to make. Okay, but when you compare it to a lot of other these retirement destinations, man, this is kindergarten where some of those places are high school and college. Okay. I'm just going to leave it at that, but... Hey! My Buntag! You see what I'm saying? That's real hospitality. That's real friendliness, guys. That's not, there's nothing fake about that. Okay, I'm just telling you what I know, you know, what I'm living over here. But it is affordable. It's going to give you the opportunity to do some things that you uh, weren't able to do at home. If you lost something, you can regain it over here. I lost that house. Okay, if you want to start a business, it's just so much opportunity here, really. You know, especially for somebody who can manage their time, manage their health, manage their money better. Because, you know, one of the things about saving, a lot of people over here don't have savings, is you're going to be able to take advantage of the opportunities that come along. I told you I bought that lot 
over in Toledo for six hundred dollars. Another one's come available for sixty-five thousand. That's a little bit over a thousand dollars, but it's a hundred and forty square meters. I'm gonna buy it. I haven't went and saw it yet, but I'm gonna buy it. Okay, because that's gonna give me the opportunity to start building those small houses I was telling y'all about. So yeah, you got the hospitality, you're welcome here. 18 to 80 is in full effect. The cost of living, the weather, guys, don't downplay the weather here. I know it gets bad in some places, but when I'm talking about the weather, research it for yourself. This isn't one of those vlogs, what warm weather does on an old body. See, because it's going to encourage you to get out and walk, just like I'm walking right now. Get out and walk, man. Get out and exercise. But if you got uh, breathing problems, hot weather, dry weather like this, good weather like this, it's good for you. But don't just take my word for it. Come out here for yourself and you're going to see. If I were you, I'd have at least three places. Okay, and they wouldn't be in the same general era. But I have three. I'd have, you know, and then I would label them from one to three. After I visited all three on an exploration trip. But I just wouldn't throw one out the window just because of something I'm hearing online. A lot of these guys, man. They're giving you fake information, man. It's not true. Okay. One thing I can say about my channel is I'm showing you how I'm living. Okay. I'm not hiding anything back. This is my government name. I was stupid enough to put my government name out there. But if they're not uh, accomplishing anything, if they haven't been here long enough, man, I would take what they say with a, with a grain of salt. Okay. I'm certainly not an expert, man. The filth, I've seen so little of this place. I mean, really. I've seen so little of this place. Even though I've been here for that, for a considerable period of time, I just don't know enough about it. I've met so few people. I give y'all my experience. Okay? That's what I do. I'm not going to tell you one way or the other because I know what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to get on that plane. You're trying to do it the easy, you're trying to take the easy route out, guys. You can't do that. Okay? But you should still consider this place. Look how beautiful this place is. Man, this isn't the Philippines that people tell you about on them damn vlogs. Because they're stuck up in Cebu, Manila, and all those other crowded ass places. There's nobody out here, man. Look at this beautiful place. Okay, that's why I'm telling you to get your ass over here. The Philippines doesn't need me to sell it. Okay? The Philippines is what it is. It's been an attraction for a lot of people for years and years long before I was even born. But enough of the bullshit from them vacationers, man. These so-called experts. They don't know what they're talking about, man. There's plenty of women over here who still want older men. And they're going to continue to want older men. Thank the circumstances for that. Okay, and don't feel sorry for the circumstance. You didn't create them. Just don't come over here trying to uh, mistreat anybody. I take advantage of anybody because you'll be taken advantage of. But there's a reason I'm still here. I'm a Gemini, man. We get bored. But I can never grow bored with the Philippines. You know. So thank y'all so much for stopping by. I'm just getting ready to go over here and meet with some friends and eat breakfast i want to apologize to my members i haven't been able to do that live stream yet but i'm going to do it probably in the morning i forgot that i had when i made that when i switched it to today that i actually had an appointment to meet these guys and man whenever i get a chance to meet good expats i do it because when you listening to all those different languages going through your head man it feels good to talk to somebody who you can understand. They can understand you. They get your jokes and everything, the sarcasm and all that. So 
thank y'all so much for all your support. You know, I had to take a break from that live stream. It wasn't the trolls, guys. It was me. I'm trying to manage my time better, and I just want to do, I want to take more time to do things like this from 9.30 to 12. Okay, because honestly, I'm going to be honest with you, man. People were taking me for granted. They were taking the information I was giving for granted. I wasn't getting nearly the support that I should be getting, man. I'm just going to be honest with you. So I'll let y'all miss me, but I'll come back. I'll come back. So if you're in America, the Philippines, wherever you are, find your heart to help somebody. Now, day goes by, I don't help somebody. I'm going to help somebody today. Because if I don't know anything else, I know this one thing for sure. We help other people. We help ourselves. Take care. Stay safe. Stay out of trouble. I'll see you next time. I don't see their cars here. Both of them drive. One, you know, one guy lives here in San Carlos City. The other guy lives outside of San Carlos City. So I'm pretty sure they're going to be here. Don't do anything stupid. Stop listening to guys who haven't been around, who haven't accomplished anything, who don't have anything in common with you. If you're a vacationer, then listen to the vacationers. If you're a pensioner, you should be getting your information from pensioners. I'm sorry, guys. Don't get on here telling me about dating if you've only been here a couple of months. You don't have your shit together. Okay, you don't know how to talk to a woman. You don't know how to make yourself attractive to the opposite sex. Okay, I don't want to hear it. Dating is as robust and as, as live as it's ever been right now. Okay.